Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play The Barbie Diaries High School Mystery, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. The fact that I can say this with such enthusiasm is a testament to how strange I can be when it comes to Let's Playing. I'm not going to do all the big titles all the time. I'm probably going to do some pretty bad ones as well. Sometimes on purpose. Okay, so what can I going to do with this receipt? Is there anybody I can talk to here? Like, you, Charlie? You're Charlie, right? You just transferred? Yeah, from Moore High. What's it to you, Barbie? Huh, I thought Moore High was where we already went to. You know my name? Just because us wallflowers are invisible to you, popular types, doesn't mean you're invisible to us. Popular? Me? You must be joking, she says sarcastically. And why do you think you're invisible? L look, is there something you want? Take a look at this receipt. Did someone buy a laptop repair kit today? They took the last one. Someone from the yearbook staff? Ordered it this morning. Oh, I thought it finished. Did you see who picked it up? No, I was at lunch. They did leave a book here by accident, though. It's about code breaking. This is from the school library. Uh, are we done here? I guess we are. And Charlie, I can see you just fine. Wow, he sounds a bit negative. Okay, so who could have bought this anyway? Oh, I gotta keep looking for clues. Hmm. Where am I gonna find clues in? Wouldn't be the infrared, would it? Oh, this book. So I guess I should go to the library. That's right, he did say something about a book. Let's head for the library right now. You know, I have many textbooks on uh, coding, but not exactly code breaking. That being said, however, let's just see what we gotta do here. Wow, are all the desktop computers had to be pink? Ugh. Yes, I found the electronic dictionary, and it's already got a word on it. Yearbook. Is that supposed to mean much? Esar smudge with tar? Someone must be a smoker or work in the oil fields. Um, you know, I could have just walked around that. There was no point to jump over it. So what's this about the yearbook, then? I wonder what happens if you jump over it, like, several times. Does anything special happen? Turns out you have to stand in a very specific spot for it. Ah, uh, sure, I'll save. Weren't you supposed to be food fighting, Raquel? Oh, please! Yeah, believe it or not, socializing has gotten a lot worse. I don't want to get back to class, I'm here to beat a game or something. And there's still food fighting. Whoops! I almost forgot about the food fight! Better be careful here. Why aren't they going back to class? I mean, look at Raquel, she has to look so snotty even while she's throwing food. And why do they have so much food, anyway? Think how much they had to spend to actually get this stuff. Everybody's all petulant and spoiled. Uh, your book keeps coming up. Maybe I should talk to Kevin about this. Looks like you have things well in hand. If I did, why am I talking to you? It's not like I'm supposed to interact with some of the inventory, is it? Hmm, see. Oh, right, right, the yearbook room. Duh. Oh, that's a good feature about the map, but at least it'll tell you where you need to go. Seems a bit hand-holdy, but still. Help me. And nobody bothered to clean this up. It's like, you think with all these snotty people that they can actually afford, well, I don't know, a janitor? Jeez, and look at this disco ball! Do they really need a disco ball that big? Okay, to get to Hall Room C, I guess I have to go through the soccer field. Hey guys, you mind holding up a minute? Hmm, I guess they do. 
So pretty much the same thing as the food fight. If you get hit by something, you're going to be sent back to the start. Soccer balls don't travel that slow. No wonder they never win any championships. Their goalies can see like five years away. Yeah, Courtney, you're not. I have to jump over that. Is that a vending machine that got knocked down? Seriously? They couldn't pick it up? Some rowdy people work here. Um, hey, Regan. Oh, hi. This room's for yearbook staff only. Mr. Bennett's rules. What's the science teacher have to do with yearbook staff? He's in charge of it this year. Now go away! Are you okay? Is there something I can help you with? You know, like, get you late or something? It's a stupid MP3 player. I just downloaded a song, but it's not playing right. Well, maybe you should have bought the song. I think I might be able to help. Oh, this again. This is like Guitar Hero for amateurs, really. Nope, oh, almost done. You just need two more notes. There. There, I fixed your illegal download. Wow, you fixed it! Nice one, Barbie! Thanks! I was wondering if I could take a quick look around. Well, okay. But don't tell a soul I let you in. Not a problem. Well, let me search the cabinet over here. Oh, it's another au auction item. The laptop. Smudge with tar. Someone broke the latch. Let's see what's on the Earth's removable drive. Oh, can I examine the drive? No. Well, it's not part of an auction item, so... Oh, this again. Is this supposed to be some kind of power drill? I think this gotta go over here. Nope, that's too much. I think this is good. Wow, that was easy. It's a pick of a power drill. Maybe I should check out the shop class. And hopefully don't get killed touching things. You know, I never took a shop class. Believe it or not. Hey, Todd! Am I bothering you? Oh, hey. What's wrong? Someone took the power drill and I needed to finish his shop project. Power drill? You wanna hear something weird? Hey, Barbie. I'm sort of in freakout mode right now. Can we talk a little later? Sure. Mind if I take a look around? Knock yourself out. Dude, there's a, there's a power drill right here. You can't tell me you can't use that one. This is where the drill should be. But all I see are more tar smudges. Maybe I'm gonna find more with the infrared scope. And the phone rings. Time out. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on here. So we gotta look for where these tar smudges are coming from. And believe it or not, if you press select, they actually tell you where you need to go before you even know where the rest of the smudges are. Yeah, apparently you gotta go to the roof. I think that's a bit broken, so I'm going to try my best to avoid the map unless I'm really, really stuck. Wow, no wonder we're the soccer champs. These guys practice all day, and the opposing goalies must be disabled or probably dead. Because how do these guys get scored on? Look how slow these balls move. My god. Alright, so the roof should be around here. Oh, you had to jump over the tower this time. Oh, there's the power drill, which looks like a handgun. Students aren't allowed up here. Hey, that vent sounds funny. What, this one? There's something behind this grating. Someone used the drill to unscrew it. Better take a closer look. An auction item! The CD player. There's a CD inside, but it's damaged. Okay, yeah, that that looks really damaged. Must have been a Nickelback album. Well, then again, it was already damaged in the first place. I'm gonna get that drill back to Todd in the shop class. 
Yeah, that would be a good idea. He's probably, like, uh, eating himself fat right now with all this stress. Oh, and I get to save again. Alright, so unfortunately you can't just quick jump to a certain destination. They're still practicing! My god! Do they ever take some time off? Jeez. Alright, so right now we can actually make it through. Yeah, Corning, you still suck at clue finding. Because you're too busy with your glasses. Oh, I thought you killed yourself. Oh, hey Barbie. You feeling any better? I'm still bummed about that missing drill. You mean this drill? No way! Where did you find it? On the roof, of all places. How in the world? Just lucky, I guess. What are friends for? It's not lucky, you just press the select button or look through the tar smudges to your infrared. Barbie, with friends like you, a guy doesn't need luck. Uh, yeah you do, have you heard of the lottery? Hey Barbie? Yes, Todd? Um... Oh, somebody's gonna get rejected or cock-blocked. Bring the CD to the AV room. Gotta go? Uh, duty calls, but you were about to say something? Oh, yeah, it was nothing. Just thanks. Awkward. I have to go now. I wish they make this high school a little bit more convenient to navigate around. It's like, there's still garbage, there's still food fights going on. Why does that say heal on the scoreboard? I didn't know we were taking on the Sacramento White Mages or something. Alright, let's, let's just keep going here. Gotta go all the way to the AV room. Oh my god, there's still smudge! Nobody believes in cleanliness here? Well, of course not. There's been a food fight going on for, like, several minutes now. Who are they fighting with? I don't even see anybody on the other side of this hallway. Are they fighting the wall? And I'm not talking about that old WCW wrestler, either. Well, here's a CD. It's pretty warm from being in the sun, though. True, but you're forgetting about one thing. You're a genius? Bingo! I just need a little time to convert this to an MP3. I'll text you when it's ready. Your secret admirer left another word scramble for you on the desk. Um, I'm pretty sure you still can't get the actual song. Uh, Utag. Um, footage? Footage? Don't you store your stock footage here somewhere? Mind if I have a look? Be my guest. Oh, this must be it. The lock has been forced. Oh, another auction item. The RC spy camera. This looks like something you would see in Sly Cooper games. Seriously. Oh, is there anything else I was supposed to do? I haven't searched the AV room yet. Yeah, I have. Maybe I didn't look at a specific desk yet. Oh, wow, I just had to leave and get a text message. Oops, that was so close. No! Can you imagine people with delayed reactions, they never get to uh, answer the text messages? Zzzf! Oh, come on. They're going to take out all the letters and you... Oh, you only get three guesses. I thought they, they would just keep eliminating letters. Safe? Like safety? No, wait. I'll bet it's talking about the kind of safe you keep things in. The only one of those that I know of in the school is in the store. Not talking about this, the type of intercourse that most of the students here do not have. School store, alright. Which means, oh my god, they're still food fighting! Look at all those green cupcakes they're wasting! Many kids could be starved with all this stuff. Or fed with all this stuff. But they just take it for granted. When I was in high school, I never had a food fight. 
the school store is clear? I'm glad you found some auction items, but you should really be in class. Shouldn't you be teaching? No, wait, you're the principal. Never mind. They said it was clear, but I might as well still go in there anyway. Oh, there's the safe. There's a note in the safe! Cracker, if you can, blue eyes! Who is this secret admirer sending me this stuff? Oh, well, that's simple enough. Nine, two, eight. Oh, a digital picture frame. That cannot look any more girly if it tried. Found an auction item! The digital picture frame! Um, you might as well just close the safe so you don't leave any trail. Fine, I guess I'll have to leave and probably save again and then get a text message. Do we really need all this kind of encryption? Most teenagers these days still had cell phones. Blue Eyes, there's a package for you at the front desk. Secret admirer. What, so... Barbie is a dragon with 3,000 attack points or something? So where is it I was supposed to go? Oh, the office. Gotcha. Alright, so I'll probably just uh, do one more task and then I'm going to call it an episode. Dodging the 100 years food fight war is not one of them. Hey, that black guy wasn't there before, was he? Huh, maybe. I had the mind to say something, but um, nine times out of ten, it's racist, so I'm just not gonna say it. So what is over here, anyway? Oh, it's you again! Having fun wandering aimlessly around the school? Hey, Raquel! I got a message saying there was a package for... Look, I don't have time to spend chattering with a nobody like you! I'm busy studying the student files to find out who stole all the auction items. What have you found? I'm about to blow this case wide open. What else have you blown lately, Raquel? But you need not concern yourself with little things like that. Let the real investigators handle it. But my pack- Are you still here? Like, go make yourself useful and get me a latte or something. Or some boyfriend who's just gonna- Beat me and use me, and I'll just be pregnant or something. Blue eyes, Mr. Bennett looking for Raquel. Send her to the lab ASAP. Playing with your little toy again, I see. It's so geeky, which may explain why it suits you so well. Um, uh, Mr. Bennett wants to see you in the lab right away. Why would he possibly need to see me? Ooh, this had better not be about that Bunsen burner thing or whatever it's called. As if. Be a dear and finish up sorting this mail for me, would you? Mrs. Peters needs it done like yesterday. I already sorted the mail. Gotta do all this again while Wex are still very popular. Delaney actually got mail. Oh, he's actually got multiple mail. Oh, oh. And there. Who needs robots when you got, like, humans or dolls to do work? Raquel may have had the right idea with looking at the student and teacher files. I'll snap a quick photo of those as well. It may help me narrow my list of suspects. Hey, what's this? Oh, another auction item. Concert tickets to Blue Man Barack Obama. Found a delivery slip. A package for a student was sent from the office to the yearbook room. I'll bet that's where I go next. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video right here. In the next episode, we're going to hopefully get closer to this case. See you later, everyone.